ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் லிஸ்னர்ஸ் தேங்க்யூ ஸோ மச் ஃபார் லிஸ்னிங் டு லெவல் அப் பாட்காஸ்ட் சீரீஸ் பை எஸ்பிஐ லைஃப் அ பாட்காஸ்ட் அபவுட் த லெவல் அப் ஜேர்னி ஆஃப் யங் அச்சீவர்ஸ் வித் மீ யோர் ஹோஸ்ட் அங்கு கோயல் இன் தி ஃபர்ஸ்ட் எபிசோட் ஆஃப் தி லெவல் அப் பாட்காஸ்ட் சீரீஸ் வி ஹாவ் வித் அஸ் ஷெஃப் சாரான்ஷ் கோயலா வித் இஸ் யூனிக் ஜேர்னி ஃப்ரம் வாண்டிங் டு பி அன் ஆக்டர் டு பிகமிங் அ ரினாட் ஷெஃப் ட்ராவல் ஆக் அண்ட் அ ஹோஸ்ட் ஆன் டெலிவிஷன் His story is a true reflection of how passion helps one achieve their dreams. Listen in to this inspiring podcast. Uh, thank you so much for having me over and for such kind words. But I think it's a it's a year where we can all do with some goodness. So yes. very very happy to be here and very happy to be sharing my journey and my thoughts with you guys. So you gave my first lead question there Shivansh your journey your journey yeah. is quite uh, vivacious and it's, it's it's full like going into a different room altogether you're not that conventional chef we have known in the industry who comes with only talking food and giving us nuskas but you've been someone who's connected with the youngsters a lot uh, because of the kind of things you've done from traveling to judge to your own restaurant so uh, let me know how your journey has been so far how how do you think it has gone I think uh, you know we we all have a certain journey in life uh, if i had to really sum up my uh, journey my name is saransh and which yes. means summary or or to uh, summarize or sankshep me hum hindi mein bolte hain so uh, to to summarize my journey i would like to say that i'm somebody who really really has always followed his heart uh, from the very uh, beginning I started cooking when I was 12 years old. Wow. Um I had uh, a lot of likeness and fondness for food generally because my family I come from a middle class family and you know uh in a typical Indian middle class family one of the most entertaining things in your household is food. And um that so you were that golu golu bachcha in the house uh, always uh-huh. Correct correct. In, in when I was a kid I was not goila I was a golu. So <laughs> <laughs> right you should tell me um so uh, i think food sort of comes uh, in genes to me in, in that sense none of none of my family is professionally into the food business okay. uh, but the love for cooking has always been there love for going out and eating food has always been there um sure. so i started watching my first uh, food tv show to say so uh, with my grandfather uh, back in the 90s it was chef sanjeev kapoor's khana khazana wow yes we all have seen that how can we miss it correct so i used to run from my school bus uh, at 2 pm sharp in the afternoon to my home to just catch you know 20 minutes of oh his show oh my god um i was i was like a big fan and i was crazy about cooking recipes from his show and then this Uh, and i was just 12 years old back then so that sort of got me into cooking it was always a hobby i never dreamt of it uh, becoming a profession however okay. when i was when i was um, uh, when i passed my 12th standard and you know everybody has to take a call ki life mein kya karna hai and, and you know that that existential that phase comes yes um and i what was your answer would you say i want to be a chef or i want I to said i want to be an actor wow <laughs> <laughs> but uh, weird, wow. my parents wanted me to be a biotechnologist because that's what i had studied uh, okay. in in my board exams and my grandfather said that you can become a chef because you really have the skill and the art to cook and he had seen me over the years uh, enjoying it a lot in the kitchen so wow. Uh, that is how i entered all the hospitality management courses and and i applied for them and everybody agreed on me becoming a chef and i wow. cleared all my exams i my first job was at the leelas in bangalore uh, wow while working uh, there for uh, this is back in 2010 um, i had just graduated from uh, college and that was my first job i realized while working at the hotel that i am more of a creative sort of a person and i wanted to choose a different sort of identity for myself yes i trained uh, to become a chef and by by qualification and by technical knowledge i am a chef but i realized that i wanted to create content around okay. food wow and i was a young boy i was 22 years old uh, 23 years old and i i decided to quit my job and uh, i moved to mumbai um, yes. and i enrolled myself in a acting course What are you saying? So you're still in the two boats that whether I I by chance become an actor, I will do with that. So so while doing that acting course, it gave me some clarity that 
my art of cooking and my skill to to create recipes is very very dear to me and i'm i'm good at it so i did not want to let go of it and that acting course gave me that clarity i realized that i can use the tools and the mediums of film making of of acting wow. and of writing and i can apply them to food so um, unique and uh, and that that gave me a unique pathway to say so i started approaching um uh, tv channels lifestyle channels like food food uh, yes. khana ka khana uh, discovery tlc and all those uh, channels that we all watch for travel and food and i started sending them my resume that i am a chef and i am an actor do you think i can come and work for your channels and um, that landed me it took it took me some while it took me about 2 yes. years to crack uh, i knocked on a lot of doors and then one of the doors that opened for me was on food food channel um, chef sanjeev kapoor was doing a reality show called maha challenge and but to stop you there how was that moment when a boy 12 year old was watching sanjeev every day and then you're going to work with him do you remember it's just passed <laughs> by you know i i i i very very clearly remember this because i will never forget this in my life uh, the first time i met chef sanjeev um and my hands were trembling and i was like you know i am i used to maintain a recipe book of 100 recipes by chef sanjeev kapoor like i was a total fan boy so you were a fan boy wo fan moment mila aapko ha ha mere ko pura fan moment mila like then when i met him first he he pronounced my name incorrectly i didn't even have enough courage in me to correct him. it was it was um really probably the most inspiring moment i've had in my journey because um to be able to meet your idol and then follow and try to follow him in his footsteps and reach a platform where he is going to mentor you for the next 10 years of your life i think i'm very very lucky uh, of course i think we all follow our passion and our dreams i think few, few of us are really lucky to to be able to find a mentor like him like he is my idol who became my mentor and now who's a friend so i think with him i really completed the loop of um that if you dream of something if you really really you know the sharukh khan's dialogue from from the movie can you say that for us you want uh, to be heard you're an actor now i know i should actually be good at it i did not know that i can enact sharukh really well uh, <laughs> with that dialogue i think you should give it uh, to us agar aap kuch bhi dil se chaho to puri kainat lag jati hai aapko usse milne mein and and i think um uh, i i really love food and i love doing cooking shows so much that the universe really conspired arash uh, your story not just is uh, interesting but it's actually inspiring also i want to know this whole uh, journey we we call it level up that is uh, taking a leap when we understand it Correct. you had this level up in your life uh, but as we understand today everybody is wanting to follow their passion but level up graph always comes with a lot of challenges responsibility and a cost you pay What do you think has been your level up moment, and how difficult it has been to be there? Um, I think my level up moment was when I made it as a guest judge to Master Chef Australia, um, and it it took me almost eight or nine years uh, to reach there. When I started out, and you know, I I found fame at a young age. Chefs are always looked upon as people who are more like sort of who who are older. or who have a lot of experience and um, you know uh, with experience a chef uh, commands respect um, so i had to sort of um, overcome that challenge in in the 6 or 7 years uh, that i was doing cookery shows and events and and running my own restaurant uh, which is called goelga butter chicken so i think the toughest part of my journey was to be able to uh, build my trust in in my audience and in my followers and in my fans that i am i am a young boy who's learning on the job as well yes i don't i don't claim to know it all uh, and and um, i think those 6 or 7 years of working hard in the kitchen getting mentored by chef sanjeev um, and and uh, doing a lot of tv shows uh, really really geared me up for this moment when i made it to master chef So I think um, it's persistence. At the end, I think that's my word. That persistence is key. Um, if you are persist persistent uh, on your goal, only then can you find up your level up moment. Our channels we talk about uh, you as a chef. I think fitness is something which has been core to your journey as well. Very rare again. 
someone a chef i i understand you might someone who cooks might not like to eat so much but you've quite emphasized on fitness your entire uh, journey has been run to eat campaign that you had and traveling around the world the limca record uh, for being the most traveled chef in the country in short time so how does this uh, come along with you as a chef what is the story behind it um you know that the old school say, saying that all chefs uh, look proper if they have a pot belly and i, I really don't <laughs> believe in it because if you really want to look at a chef if he eats his or her own food um it has to sort of be in sync with the personality i i do feel like all the food that we cook in today's world needs to have a layer of um uh, um balance or uh, a, a vision of healthy eating to it or clean eating yes. is a word that we use a lot in our industry sure. which means we make butter chicken i am i'm popular for my butter chicken one of the most unhealthy dishes yes. on the planet probably but we have made tweaks to that recipe to make it guilt free okay. of course it has some butter it has some cream uh, sure. but it's almost uh, half of what the original uh um, used to have and which means that you can eat it over the weekend guilt free or you can eat it twice a week as well so i feel like food can always be made more guilt free and um, healthy by just keeping it more balanced so i think that approach has really helped me and health is of course it's 50% food and 50% workout okay. so run to eat is 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 a campaign that i started working on about 4 years back i had gained about 15 kgs uh, wow. <laughs> uh, despite my physical fit and uh, it it pushed me to run um, and while running i discovered that running is not only good for your health but it's also a great stress buster it wow. gave me a lot of mental peace um I, i found my sanity back from my hectic hectic shoot life and 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 kitchen life i think running um, really saved me um it is one of my favorite things to do uh, uh, in, in my i don't know in my life i usually tell i usually tell people that uh, one vada pav is equal to 18 minutes of run oh my god that's too hard <laughs> <laughs> your your target number is too hard but coming to the uncertain phase sharan so you've really uh, really served a lot during covid times with your covid india meals i think you've spoken about it and world has seen your contribution in that space but i want to know what is that memory that you carry with that experience jo aapko us experience mein logo ke sath madad karke mila other than your commercial uh, approach to the whole industry what was that that you carry with you with covid meals for india honestly that time was devastating for all of us it was it was a wave that has left scars on all of us we've all lost uh, a near or a dear yes. one and uh, it was a tricky time because my restaurants were also shut and uh, i was also feeling helpless myself i did not know how to help my community um it is when i received a direct message on, on one of the social media platforms where somebody wrote to me that you know we are my grandparents are stuck um uh, in in bangalore and they are looking for home cooked meals because they have covid they can't cook for themselves they have no help right now because hospitals are full so they need to be at home um and can we help them with basic supplies and meals and that sort of um uh, made me think that you know there might be so many such people who are stuck in such situations where they don't need a hospital bed but they are at home and they still need food and they need three meals they need khana that is not spicy that is not uh, flooded with oil but healthy not restaurant ka khana but basic clean ghar ka khana and i put this out on my social media platforms and it it totally erupted i started getting dms by thousands uh, mm-hmm. which meant i had to ask my sister my manager all of us started attending to these dms suddenly we realized we need to compile a list of people who can provide um, these meals home chefs volunteers um, cooks chefs kitchens whoever could come and help us out uh, for me i think honestly it was an escape from the from the troubling time that we were all going through i was able to put myself to some good use by using my laptop um and i think um i think it is it is one of those things that i'll never forget in my life that as a chef i did not cook a single meal uh okay, covid meals for india but i was still able to use my influence uh to be able to help people out so i think uh, 
so without okay. cooking a single meal aapne kitne logo ko khana khilaya hai so that's also one of the uh, achievement that you have got to yourself uh, if we talk of the uncertain phase when we are talking you know there's something now coming out of this phase we all have got some kind of a uncertainty in life financially also so aran your journey has been so inspiring aur bahut hi bahut hi real bhi lagta hai it is something jo har koi relate kar payega we all go through that kind of journey how do you secure yourself financially also has the journey itself have you focused on kabhi financially secure karne pe ki wo apne aap hi hota gaya can you tell us on that part um because we're being honest and candid and relatable <laughs> uh, you know uh, in the early years all my financial advice would come from dad and okay. um he sort of groomed me a little uh, to be able to uh, pay attention to taxes accounts and and it took me a little while to get to it it is only that is one day i was i was shooting one uh, episode on a show with chef sanjeev and i happened to it's a funny one but i happened to have done a a transaction from my bank account in front of him and he noticed that there was a lot of money lying in my bank account oh my god uh, unattended and uh, he said what are you doing and and have you not been doing financial planning where are your financial goals like why is this money just sitting in your bank account and i had no answer for it and um, i think he sort of became also my financial coach what are you saying he, he then put me in touch with a financial coach i think that's the best thing i have done in my life uh, i have somebody who advises me um, with whatever money i earn um, in a year i i try to balance it out in a way where um 50% of my income i try to save and then um, i try to diversify it into different things uh 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 to insurance uh to stocks uh to uh, some uh, property as well so i diversify my, my portfolio but i think uh, investments and insurance uh has been the key drivers uh for me in this uh, saving journey or investment journey or my financial journey to say so so i've been i think the last 6 or 7 years i have found some more clarity until i was 26 i was very very clueless no. i wish somebody would have guided me when i was 21 or 22 from day 1 when i was earning i think i was 3 or 4 years late in 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 signing up for insurance and and signing up for funds so i think uh, i've learned on the go uh, but i've had few people who really really coached me well and they've helped me out and my That's advice amazing. to anyone listening this is please start early how do yeah. you feel like being a young achiever sharansh how do you look at yourself do you think uh, it's by blessing or your hard work how did this come to you i think uh, you know i usually tell people follow your heart and that is the recipe for success uh, that's something that i i really stick by uh, which means uh, hurdles uh, come in everyone's journeys and you know there is a point where you all want to give up There was a point in my journey where I was like, "Oh my God, I have made a mistake by quitting my job while I was working at a hotel," um, because uh, it it took some time to really find my uh, spot in this world. Uh, but I think ultimately it's persistence uh, that sort of drives you through. And as as a person who's 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 also been slightly lucky in being able to achieve this at a young age, I would say you have to go for it. you cannot okay. not try and and then tell yourself that are ye to hoga hi nahi hoga you have to do it and if it does not work out for you you will still find something good out of it um and and it will lead you on a path um that you haven't yet discovered yet so jab tak aap karoge hi nahi to aapko kaise pata chalega that this is what it's what it's to for you so i would just say that go for it um uh, and 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 follow what your heart really wants and see where it takes you like Charan you've been a wonderful chef wonderful speaker actor i haven't tested you though i have only one i love <laughs> to have seen and you're a fit guy but for you just a very quick 30 second game question or answer options we have it's called let's te- uh, test your taste so i want to know from you what do you like more spicy food or bland or light uh, food what is your preference i am i think i'm a fan of spicy food um, i love spice would you said that <laughs> justifies <laughs> traveling for food or for leisure Oh, traveling for food. There is no debate on that. Yeah. Food, all <laughs> What was a greater feeling of achievement or level up for you, Master Chef Australia, being a judge there, or the Limca Record uh, Award that you got for being the uh, runner? Oh, Be honest. This is a tough one. I would 
you know i would say master chef australia because i got to represent uh, our country on a global platform yes. and i think there is there is no other feeling that comes close to it and saran so at the closing what is uh, that according to you defines a good chef who do you think is supposed to be called a good chef i think someone who can cook tasty food um for his friends and family and what is the secret of being a good chef oh uh see work hard slog <laughs> <laughs> I won't let you go like this. You leave us now. You've revealed me your secret of being a good chef as being a good actor. So leave me with a good dialogue. Oh. That, that is, I don't know if you're still fond of it, but जो ज़िंदगी में लेवल अप होने के लिए काम आए. No, and I have actually, I have one dialogue from my from my grandfather, and I I, have, I would love to share it. Please. He he, he um, took a very very uh, popular quote and he twisted it around. um and his saying was a friend in need is a friend in deep but wow. a friend who can feed is the friend you need wow i have not <laughs> heard this anywhere yeah aapka original dialogue hai so th- with this i would like to close this conversation it was really nice sharan so i just got a glimpse of you but i think that was too much to know a lot more than we have read about you anywhere and as we get from you for leveling up you say it's more important to do hard work be passionate and persistent and also for people when they go through this journey uh, financially ensuring themselves is as important so please work on your term life for insurance and keep yourself more secure to be there and uh, work ahead with less concern and charans thank for your time thanks for giving us your nuska of life more than food and it was really lovely knowing your journey of level up and your journey of success till now and thanks for sharing your story with us it was a pleasure it was an absolute pleasure this podcast is brought to you by SBI life insurance company limited for more details please visit www.sbilife.co.in IRDAI registration number 111